Hi guys, welcome to this tutorial number six of the air to air GCI cap module. In this tutorial, um, I'm going to talk to you about intercept point calculation. What does that mean? Basically, an intercept point calculation is where you have an, uh, an airborne target or intruders which are flying into a certain direction, given a certain speed and a certain bearing. And you know, when an intervention or an intercept action needs to be taking place from an airbase, then those planes may not be immediately available. So what the model can do is that you can set up a parameter for a intercept delay and the module will calculate what, where will that plane be if it would follow the same heading and the same speed over a period of time. And in this example, this would be the point and as such, this point, the closest airbase to this point is airbase number three. So that means that the optimal airbase will be chosen from where the intercept will take place. And this is very important for the efficiency of the defense systems. So intercept point calculation is the topic of this tutorial. And I'm going to show you the APIs and a demonstration on how this is working as well. Give you a few examples of different positions from where the intruders can come from and how the um, yeah, the module reacts. So I hope you enjoy this tutorial. Here you find a test mission in Caucasus. So I'm not using the GCI CAP module here really. I'm actually using the air-to-air -air dispatcher which provides more flexibility. But the principle will be the same. So I have a couple of blue airplanes here which uh, are spawned dynamically into the system normally but I'm not using them. And I'm having here a couple of red uh, templates that are assigned to squadrons and basically I have two squadrons defined I have a squadron defined in Sochi Adler and I'm having a squadron defined in Geland Zik let me explain you the the um, the script yeah so as I said the GCI CAP module has not been used but the dispatcher which is a little bit different it's a little bit more technical I'm not going into details right now on this one um, just know that I am defining a squadron at Sochi at Airbase Sochi Adler and I'm assigning there a MiG-31 and I have 20 resources in stock I'm using a GCI uh, process setting up for Sochi that would engage between 900 and 1200 kilometers per hour and this is important now I'm setting the squadron takeoff method to be from cold it means that when an airplane would spawn in it would start with cold engines from Sochi the same from Galenzik so there I'm having a squadron named Galent defined that is flying an SU-27 and the set squadron GCI method is then defining the GCI for the Galent uh, squadron uh, so also there takeoff parking cold and landing at engine shutdown now the method that I would like to document or stress to you is this one the set intercept method of the air to air dispatcher so the set intercept method will also be available for the GCI cap basically what it does is it allows you to define a delay in seconds here 450 on how long it would take for these airplanes to be that are dynamically spawned here with cold engines to taxi to the runway and take off into the air and that's going to take a couple of seconds between 300 to you know, let's say let's say between 250 to uh, 450 seconds this takes so this this delay then will cause an, an intercept point to be calculated and I go back to my mission here you see this blue plane here right so Galenzik is here Sochi Adler is here when the blue plane would be detected immediately then the spawning of the defending plane would immediately happen at Sochi Adler that's not what we want we want it to be spawning in from Galenzik so that once the airplanes have spawned in and have taxied to the runway and have taken off a couple of minutes have passed and then that plane will be here which means a more optimal intercept path to be followed even more when I would spawn a, a plane here in Sochi Adler then the bearing wouldn't be optimal so the 
the plane would actually start following this plane and it would take much more longer to actually you know engage upon the uh, upon the fighter so let me explain this to you no not explain let me show this to you and see how this works and then we can try something else later right so now i'm in the air this is a, a normal f-15 it's on its course and it's flying around 1049 kilometers per hour i think this will be um, then you have a heading of 310 and an altitude around 2000 meters now the detection is uh, getting in and in a minute once the plane has been detected by the EWR here then a spawn will happen and I'm going to speed up a bit so now you see very strangely that the the plane is not spawned in Sochi but in Galenzig and the reason is that this plane here is actually in cold start it's, it's, it's just taking off right with the uh, running engines and this plane is just flying there we're gonna just wait until it taxis to the runway. There you go. And then it takes off. And we're already two two minutes further, right? So we're already three minutes here. And whoop, it's in the air in three minutes, around three minutes fifty. And then it's gonna engage the the blue airplane here, which is the best uh direction really, right? So I, I hope this is clear. Um, and the intercept method is becomes in really handy to actually set up a really effective defense system. You will lose much less planes uh, that are being spawned unnecessary, and um, well, I think the solution speaks for itself, right? So I hope you enjoy this session. So the the API you need to remember is this one: set intercept, and then put in a timing before I forget this set intercept is for all the squadrons that means that if you have a squadron that is taking off let's say straightly in the air then yes then an intercept point will be calculated as well for the, that uh, that air base and it can be that that plane would take off um, immediately and would, uh, would not wait well it's um it's um let's call it I could only put it in this way because the other implementations um, taking into account the different uh, takeoff methods for each airbase to be set up would become much too complicated and I don't think that that would bring that much benefit to the mission designers anyway so I hope you enjoy this and see you to the next uh, tutorial bye bye thank you